before and after a few minutes on the wire wheel these will get painted black got the first part of the exhaust pipe out with some penetrating lube and some heat and two rubber mallets we're spraying the second side to loosen it up this is the pipe it's out it was in there a good ways so oh making moves boys <laughs> I need to get some kind of in my truck, man. Some what? Some what? <laughs> that was actually pretty good. <laughs> Slightly used Flowmaster muffler for sale. All right, so this was how the exhaust was on the car with clamps here and there. Now the plan is to, well, I figured I saw the bend in the tailpipe or the tip. Move the muffler and since that pipe is the perfect, almost the perfect length and offset for the curve. It's now going to be tailpipe section, the offset, and a tip. Have this either clamped or welded and bolt back up to the car. It'll fit perfect and do the job. That's the sound of lunch. All right, guys, I don't know if I started this. I think I did. Anyway, in the garage, you saw the earlier clips of the exhaust. I took it to work, got it in pieces. It turns out <clears throat> this piece probably will do the job. So what I did, went back to AutoZone, got another coupler. Uh, this is going to be my exhaust tip. Uh, I bought three new hangers, three new clamps, rather because this other one the other fact the one that was on the car it was so messed up that i couldn't save the threads i didn't want to bother going through and fixing the threads so those four will do for these two so basically the exhaust is going to look something like this that's gonna go there and then that's gonna go there and then the tip's just gonna go in just just like that give or take let me clamp here clamp there two clamps there <clears throat> and a hanger from that clamp into the fact the hanger that's already on the car you may ask why not just weld it because i don't know um the last time i've got i had an exhaust welded it looked like crap and as you know it broke so um the welder that i trust that used to work with us he moved on to a different job so i don't truly really trust too many people's welds uh especially on car stuff but anyway the clamps will do the job they'll just bolt in that way if anything i want to change it or add a muffler or put something back in all i need to do is undo the two nuts slip a muffler in between and bolt it back up something that I can it's interchangeable not really you know set in stone oh. okay this way we can just hopefully I can get underneath the camera angle and show oh a little short Short. I would have liked to have this tip be just right here. So, let's see, when I put it together, hopefully, if I don't send the pieces all the way into the couplers, I can gain some, uh, some inches. If not, maybe look for a longer tip or 
another extension. We'll see. I mean, I could just go to a muffler shop and have them weld, make a piece for me. Maybe a single, a single bend and everything like that. But I'm trying to save some money here, so let's see what I can do. Just get enough for I know so I know that the clamp is gonna bite. So I'll measure and it looks like just about an inch. Let's see. Okay. Mark my line so I know where to stop when I put it in the car. All right, <clears throat> everything locked up, pretty sturdy. Let's see how it's gonna fit. Sit you guys down there. The things we gotta do. bolts are holding. If this was a bit longer, it would be perfect. A little bit longer. But that's it. About there. Needs to be a little bit longer, like two inches would be perfect. If I can get this two inches longer, maybe find a nice piece of pipe that I can use and the reason why I want to use this piece of pipe is because I don't know if you can see Let me show you it has that nice beveled edge I think that looks killer um, I'll see if I can find something that I can use in the meantime but for now that's what I'm gonna do and yeah I like it so far well, this is not the way you want to start a vlog, but the GTI uh, is leaking coolant and I don't know exactly where from. I, it seems like it's coming from the front of the motor somewhere. I looked under earlier and I saw that it's wet. So while I was waiting for Isaiah to wait in, in line to pick Isaiah from school, the temperature rose. 
like it didn't go all the way up but it rose pretty fast um so i had to run home with the car jump in the jetta take the jetta and go pick him up so i'm gonna jack the car up get underneath there see if i can track it down hopefully i can hopefully it's just a hose that i can grab here locally and get it fixed i hope otherwise i'm gonna have to take the jetta in the morning and nobody's gonna like that that I was trying to remedy the leaky coolant on the GTI. Turns out I need a water pump, so I gotta deal with that. <sighs> but we're out here getting ready to go to the Magic game um, with a few friends, and hopefully the night goes smooth from here on out. After the crazy lady was driving in her Audi convertible, swerving, slowing down traffic, with half of the convertible part broken, and she was clearly on drugs. So, you know, things happen. We'll see what happens. At the game, uh, the Magic are actually winning for the first time, I think, in a long time. Every time we've come to a Magic game, they've lost. So hopefully this time will be different. It's one side goes up. Not bad for free Halloween tickets. You like the best. And it's the Halloween edition. So let's see who we have the boys. Right. First up, we have a candy. Do you like bite size candy? Or do you like king size candy? They're, oh, they're dropping luggage oh, tag. Luggage the tag. So for every spot that our contestants make, we'll flip over the letters. Now at the end, if the contestant can then guess the destination city, they Unfortunately, they lost. Or well, they're going to lose. We did get Gringo. So the that. It is the highlight. It's always good. At least the tacos are always good. Exit to the bridge. Exit to Church Street. Confusing people. <laughs> A long walk back to the car after a crushing defeat. Alright guys, back in the garage. Uh, took the Jetta to work this morning and soon after I left the house, I got a call, a text from the wife saying that I woke up Isaiah and shook the house and the car is very, very, very loud. So, what I'm going to do for now is, until 
the GTI gets back on the road is put the muffler back on so it quiets it down just a little bit until just until I get the GTI back and I don't have to drive the Jetta in the morning um, yeah that should be sometime before simply clean because during simply clean I am gonna take the muffler off because I love the way it sounds and that's what I want to do so just gonna put everything back it's a good thing everything clamped up and I didn't have to cut anything so this shouldn't take me too long all right what's going on guys just leaving work here it's Thursday hope you can hear me over the rumble of this car I put the muffler back on but it still sounds kind of loud 